day one of a 10-day romance tour in Kharkov, Ukraine. Over 250 Ukrainian women are attending. 20 American bachelors have each paid approximately $5,000 to be here. Talk and make dates. Talk, 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 make dates. John Adams will help make the introductions. From there, guys hope for chemistry. Very beautiful. These guys are so lucky, I think, to be here and be able to meet you guys. All in one place at one time. Amazing thing. guys are divorced or shy or just have trouble meeting women because they're from a small town. Since the majority of women don't speak English, John pairs the guys up with interpreters, and that helps open the lines of communication. Michael, you got six interpreters over there. Take Michael, get him an interpreter, start talking to him. You didn't come here to sit by yourself. Go. I'm a dentist, and you have a beautiful smile. These guys came halfway around the world for the opportunity to meet that special someone, and it's my job to make it happen. A Foreign Affair is one of the largest international dating services in the United States. Over 40,000 women in eight countries are signed up on the website. Well, and that's the thing, is like, you know, the average model comes out of these countries. They're gorgeous people. It all begins with a website where interested men can correspond with women from foreign countries for a fee. But John ultimately wants to sign those men up for one of his package tours. Our real goal is to get them out of the house, on a plane, over to meet the women in person. In order to take the tour, men are required to provide detailed background information and a foreign affairs screens for sex offenders. Services like John's are regulated under the International Marriage Broker Regulation Act, a law passed in response to abuse arising from marriage agency pairings. You're not 70 looking for an 18-year-old. You're 47 looking for someone, I would say realistically, about 27 to, to 35. This is an opportunity for you to meet as many different people as possible, and you need to look at it as a speed dating almost environment. And the women have a different perspective. They actually want to talk to you. The men have to understand that there's fantasy and there's reality, and we want them to be in reality, and that's why we try to get them on the romance tours to meet these women in person. And I know it works to meet a foreign bride, because that's how I met my wife, Tanya. Tanya and I met in St. Petersburg, Russia, and I wasn't really looking. I was leading the tour, and, you know, it was a regular social, and I'm walking around the room, and I'm pouring champagne, I saw this table and this woman at this table and I thought, my God, I mean, that was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. We married on, uh, on February 18th, 99, and uh, we have two wonderful kids and uh, they, they're great. Who is not looking for better life? Everyone is looking for better life. If somebody calling me a male to the bride uh, who basically was shipped in a box to, to please my husband, you know, they really mistaken. I mean, I probably choose John to be my husband to please me, but not different way. Did you see how many girls, only beautiful girls in Ukraine? For Ukrainian women, economic opportunity is limited. One third of the population lives in poverty, and the average income is around 4,000 U.S. dollars. Some women see American men as a way to a better life. 